This is Corey with Snap Creek Software, and in this video, we'll be running through how to use Duplicator Pro to migrate a site without having to manually create and set up a database on your hosting provider. For beginners, this method is great because they don't have to learn how to create a database through the host control panel and set up all the database users and permission sets. For advanced users, it can simply help speed up your workflow if you're not concerned about the names of the database. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have two tabs open. The first tab is, we'll call it host A, and the second tab is host B. And what we're gonna be doing is moving the WordPress site from host A over to host B. So to get this process started, we are going to create a package. Now, if you're not familiar with creating a package, you can check out snapcreek.com and there's several videos and tutorials that will run you through this process of creating a package and um, it's pretty straightforward in most cases. So we're gonna let this package run in the background and we are gonna jump over to our host B and look for the WordPress one-click installer which is installed on almost all cPanels. We'll wanna click on this WordPress installer link and then we will want to do what we call the quick install which will simply install WordPress at this location with pretty much one click. So we're gonna go ahead and install that That'll run in the background, usually takes 30 seconds to a minute to run, usually pretty quick. It creates the database and the WordPress site and everything in one, one fell swoop. So now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and log into our WordPress admin. And what we want to do is we want to get the package that we are building on the other site over to this host. So we can do that by adding a plugin here, and it's called Advanced File or File Manager Advanced. And we're going to go ahead and install that really quickly, activate it. And then what we want to do is go ahead and jump back over to our host A and we can see that our package is completely uh, done here. So we're going to download both of these files real quick to our local hard drive on our local computer. And as you can see, I have these two files downloaded. Now what I want to do is jump back over to the admin on this site, go over to the file manager, and we are gonna upload both of these files quickly over here to this new site that we just installed. And as you can see, this file manager is simply just a tool that lets you look at uh, the directory structure for where your WordPress site is installed. So you can see all of the files and all the directories where it's installed. Now this process is pretty simple um, and pretty straightforward. Just drag those files over there and they'll start uploading. Uh, usually takes, like I said, probably between 30 seconds to a minute, same as the installer. So a pretty quick process. It'll also depend on the size of your packages. If you have a really large WordPress site, then it could take some time. But in most cases, it's pretty straightforward. And as you can see, it's almost done here. So we'll wait for that to complete. Now, once this is complete, you can see that the installer is ready to be ran. So we can simply jump up here to our address bar and we'll type in installer.php. And now this is the installer and it's ready to be ran. Now, what the installer does is it simply takes the WordPress site that we had on host A and installs it here. And as you can see here, we are in what we call overwrite install mode because we're getting ready to overwrite the site that we just installed, that fresh new WordPress site. And we're doing that mainly because we don't wanna to have to worry about the database uh, setup, which we'll show you right here in the next step. So you will see on this particular section a warn, but that's fine because it's just letting you know the details of what you're getting ready to do here. So let's go ahead and accept it and go ahead and click next. And this will bring up the database setup screen. Now this is kind of where the whole hands-free database thing comes into play because what is happening here is the installer is uh, picking up the settings from the configuration file um, for where we just installed it. And as you can see, there's placeholders set up here um, on the site and those are ready to be applied. So basically we are going to be overriding the site that we, or overriding the whole site and the database that we just set up. So in this case, we want to do this. So we're gonna click apply. That will apply the database settings for the user and the database name. 
and we're going to go ahead and test it make sure it works looks good we're going to go ahead and install this database on top of the other one um, that process is now complete we're going to update the urls and this should uh, finalize the process now if we jump out to the front end on this website we can see that it's uh, Marty, uh, Marty time, which is the exact same site that we had over here. So we simply moved that site over here without having to do any database setup, which in some cases for some users can be a challenge and for others users it can be a pain. So either way, it's a great quick way to do this. And to wrap up this video, we have uh, pretty much just seen what creating a hands-free database is all about um, using the Duplicator Pro plugin. Uh, for additional videos, uh, information, and great tools, visit snapcreek.com. Thanks.